Welcome back to Thumbcraft Quick. In this episode, I'll show you how to build and use the Thaumatorium. In your Thaumonomicon on the Alchemy tab, just past the Alchemical Centrifuge, you'll see Automated Alchemy. The Thaumatorium is a construct which allows you to automate alchemical processes. It's very useful in constructing large amounts of niter or alimentum, among other things. To build one, we'll need a couple of alchemical constructs and a crucible. You don't need water in the crucible, but it does need a heat source below it. I've got an area set up for this process. I've placed niter in the four here, so we'll place the crucible right above it. Now we'll place the two alchemical constructs, and we just need to right click our wand on the bottom construct to turn it into a thaumatorium. We need 30 ordo, aqua, and 15 ignis in your wand. For my setup, I'd like to make some alimentum. So I've placed the three required essentia types, ignis, potentia, and perdicio, into warded jars beside the thaumatorium. You need to pipe the essentia into the thaumatorium and then add your catalyst. So, you can pipe things into the three sides of the bottom and all four sides on the top. The items the thaumatorium makes gets sh thrown out the front, so I've placed a hungry chest here. Some advanced essentia tubes can help you in making more compact builds. The Thaumonomicon does say you can place an inventory directly into the front of the output slot and it will put them right in there. So I could have simply placed a chest here, but I don't like the way that looks, so I didn't do that. So, right click the Thaumatorium and put your catalyst in here. It tells you what items you would need or what essentia types you'd need to make your output item. To have it start working, simply left click the formula, it will start draining in the essentia types and make your item. It gets chucked out the front and placed right in the hungry chest. Alright, that covers the thaumatorium and automated alchemy. One more thing to note is that you can set it up with more than one formula if you add some mnemonic matrices. Alright. See you next time.